am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so per request, this is going to be Harry and Meghan moved to Portugal and why, and also Princess Beatrice and the baby scare. So we'll talk about the royals. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So I thought the uh, Touchstone Tarot would be fun to use this time. They're kind of uh, glitzy and uh, that'll be uh, good. And they're big cards, so they're easy to see uh, also. And if you don't remember, at the end of the video, I'll tell you more about these cards um, and show you more of them, uh, which I do on all the videos. So there you go. So the Touchstone tar Tarot. So today it's gonna be, what is this with uh, Harry and Meghan uh, supposedly buying some place in Portugal near um, his cousin Beatrice and her uh, rich husband? And is Beatrice having trouble with this baby situation or is that all cleared up or was that ever even an issue? So those will be kind of uh, what we'll talk about. So hope you like the video. But before we do any of that, let's have just a moment, of course, of meditation. over these royals right now uh, so I've been out of touch I haven't been paying attention to them much and it's interesting the uh, place where I was uh, vacationing as a king and queen so uh, over in Spain so recently visited uh, three cities and thinking about moving to one of them kind of um, long term longer term a split time between the US and Europe so um, but Harry so it's interesting you know that's on my mind it's, it's on his mind. Why, why not go over and be part of Portugal and be closer to all of Europe and be close to his, um, one of his favorite cousins? Um, so, is that uh, even something that uh, they're actually seriously considering? I don't know. Maybe the papers have already said that they've purchased the place, but let's see what the cards say about what that is. Is that something they're si he, they are seriously considering? First card up is the Emperor. Oh yeah, making choices. Next card up is the um, Eight of Cups. And that's leaving something behind uh, that you really care about. Oh, yep. And um, Judgment. Yeah, Judgment is over and it's time to move on. Yeah, I think it is something that he's very seriously considering. Just get on with life in some way that uh, brings you closer to family. And uh, hope for the best as far as everything else is concerned. So, all right, now, um, is this a way, and is this the plan? Is this a way for Harry to get back in with the royals? Is that the idea? So, uh, you know, is this a plan? Is this a way of getting back in, or is this just building a life where you can be closer to the family? Is this a way to get back in? Is that what this is being thought of? And for Harry's part, I mean, four cards. Two, three, four. So is, is this a plan, really? Either Beatrice or Harry or both or somebody else uh, is a plan. Well, the Five of Swords is um, abuse of power. So for swords, truth, justice, rules, and law. So this is about that abuse of power that started all this in Harry's mind. Uh, the next card up is the Three of Coins. Um, the Three of Coins is building something for public display. Coins are value, they can be money, but this is image building here. So it, it, it starts and it ends with Harry, though, in an important way with the abuse. Um, 
it's about building some sort of a new image for public display. It's a new journey. This is the full card, so it's a new, so it's a new start. And uh, the last card is this Three of Swords. It ends with a broken heart. Oh, so that doesn't sound good as far as if that's the reason. Um, so it ends with a broken heart as far as being a way for Harry to get back into the royal family. But is it a happy um, situation for the kids to be growing up together, for them to be in touch with some of the lesser, uh, not even royal but members around the royal family? Uh, is that good? Four cards. One, two, because I would think that if that were the least thing that you gain, that's a big win. And anything that would connect you better with the family would be above and beyond. So um, looking at things from another direction. Yeah, so this is the hangman. So yeah, this is it's just trying to look at everything another way and say, well, let's try this. Ten of Swords, understanding that it's over. Okay, whatever was is finished. And whatever else comes along is something new. And this is the, well, the secrets being revealed, the moon card. Yeah, and it's funny that this person looks at, well, typically this image is not of a pregnant woman, but it's always kind of thought of at that at first glance. It's a woman with, you know, a lot of wealth and has a lot of, uh, uh, so can afford this wealth of clothing. But it, it does look pregnant, so it does remind you of Beatrice. And then um, look at that, the Ten of Cups is just happy family. So yeah, it's all about rebuilding some kind of a family that maybe doesn't look anything at all like what it did before. So that's what that is. So now let's go directly to Beatrice and say, um, so was that a real scare? Was there really something there that, because um, I think it just ended. I don't know that there was much of explanation around it, but then I'm not really in touch with what's going on in that part of the world. Um, so was there a real a danger for her child. Three cards. One, two, and three. So let's see. So there's danger for the child. The three of swords. Oh yeah, there was danger there. Um, judgment. Oof. And um, but a perfect pairing in this lovers card, which is a very strong um, symbol. Of finding the right match, so yeah, there was um, there was uh, there was danger there. Um, it it could have it could have gone really the wrong way, and um, but uh, being who they are, being able to find just right answers to what they needed, so there was something there. And um, <clears throat> so will this uh, child then have a nice, happy, safe uh, welcome into with the rest of us? Is this child going to be fine? I'm going to be fine. Let's do three. One. All those want to come, but I don't like that, so I'm not going to take them. Two. Three. Is this child going to be fine? I always believe that however these cards work out, it's just the way it was supposed to be. So, this is uh, the Hermit card. Will this child be fine? This requires is going to require a lot of attention to detail, being careful on the next step. There's some... Um, uh, effort that's going to be involved with this child. Um, the seven of coins, wondering if you've done enough. Okay, okay. <clears throat> and then the last one here is the four of wands, long term planning. There's going to be something here that um, made you wonder did you spend enough time really studying this issue before you move forward? Um, you're going to be wondering if you've done enough, and you wouldn't be wondering if you've done enough if everything turned out fine, would you? So there's that, and look, nurturing, this this growing thing, yeah. And then uh, with the four of wands, long-term planning, making sure that you've made plans for the well-being of that person. Ah, I could be totally wrong, I hope I am. So, that's my quick read for today. Hope you liked it. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone 
Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great, you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards. I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Of You'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how... Uh, she came up with this, but she came with some beautiful, beautiful artwork and all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer.